Those who like machinery, don't miss this video. Explain in detail all the lubrication systems of motorcycle engines. In fact, many people do not know that scooter motorcycles, the gear oil inside also needs to be replaced. The dosage is 150 to 0, depending on the model. The specific dosage is generally marked at the position of the oil. It is estimated that many of the Lao Tai who are watching, but never change the transmission gear oil. In fact, the lubrication system of a scooter mainly consists of two main components, engine oil and transmission gear oil. The engine oil is normally driven, and the manufacturer requires a change of about 3,000 kilometers. But this Yin Man is just a Yin car. The specific dosage is generally based on the middle of the online and offline lines of the ruler scale line path of pedal motorcycle engine oil, lubricating the entire engine. The process flows from this filter to the oil pump. The oil pump drives the oil to flow in a special oil passage. First comes the crankshaft lubrication channel. It is located on the curved bearing. Hugel force of rotation forces the oil to flow along the will form an oil film between the crankshaft bearing and the connecting rod bearing. Inject it into the channel of the connecting pin under constant pressure to lubricate the connecting rod needle roller bearing. At the same time, the other part is injected into the connecting rod shaft through another runner. The injected oil can lubricate the piston and cylinder. The falling oil droplets lubricate the piston, cutting through the two oil passage holes on the connecting rod. And the oil scraper ring on the piston will remove the residual oil in the cylinder. Excess oil will be forced into the hole in the area of the piston oil scraper ring. The lubrication system on the cylinder head comes to the camshaft bed through the male oil hole of the upper right cylinder head stud. There are two channels. The first channel pumps oil directly into the camshaft. The second channel leads to the rocker flute at the top by lubricating the rocker through the two grooves above. The used oil will flow out through these holes. Then enter the exhaust valve rocker through these two holes. The remaining part is lubricated by oil atomization. Then the excess oil will flow back to the axle box under the action of gravity for a second cycle. 